someone once said, we'd better pay attention to the future because that's where we're going to spend the rest of our lives. Yet too often those are just words to many people who end up finding themselves fixed almost entirely on the present. But focus on this area northwest of San Antonio. And actually, I mapped the percentage of the 100-year rainfall that this storm amounted to, and you can see, at least in the upper Guadalupe Basin, only a small area got close to the 100-year rainfall. For most of the watershed, this was more like a two- or a five-year storm future. But these gauges are even more sparse in coverage than rain gauges. Their records often don't go back as far. They're a lot more expensive to install and maintain. And as we saw in one graph, they can go offline, ironically, as a result of flooding, completely missing the peak. And it's not about the few people like myself that have the privilege of actually going on a space mission. It's the tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people that it takes to make those missions happen and make it a reality to produce the systems, to engineer uh, the systems of tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here to mark this tremendous occasion with us. The Texas A&M University Space Institute will serve as a launch pad for innovation, collaboration, and opportunities that extend beyond our state to literally impact the world. Space Institute and the incredible funding supported by the state for a physical facility. Space obviously today touches almost every part of our economy. You know, agriculture, transportation, medicine, shipping, uh, construction now uses space. And when it goes right, you don't even know that space is an important part of your life, but uh, if it were to stop working, you'd notice it really quickly. Dear Governor Greg Abbott, your people in Texas have been dying due to failing infrastructure for more than a decade from my direct experience. And I would like to inform you about some of the engineering priorities we have in this state. I'd be happy to disclose my observations and what is troubling me and what may be also troubling to the people. I thought I could help as a university educator, but the building where I work also has regular flooding inside the building where we're educating these students. I'm concerned we are teaching the students to overlook basic infrastructure technology. The people will let me know by responding to this video if I should share more information with you.